How does the C5 Corvette's built-in diagnostic system that was engineered in the mid-90s compare to this entry-level $25 Ansel scan tool that was engineered 20 years later? Let's find out next. Toys for life. Guys, if you're not already at least a little bit familiar with the C5's built-in diagnostics, I strongly suggest you pause this video for just a second. Watch this one first. It's a comprehensive review of all aspects of the C5's diagnostic system, including how to access the system and more importantly, how to use it. Spoiler alert, there are definitely a few things that this budget Ansel scan tool can do a lot better than the C5's onboard diagnostics. But that having been said, there's definitely quite a few things that the C5's diagnostics can do that this one just can't. So let's jump into it with a quick review of the C5's diagnostic capabilities. To enter diagnostics, turn the ignition key to the on position, but do not start the engine. Hit reset if you've got any messages like door ajar or low tire pressure. Next, press and hold the option button while hitting the fuel button four times in a row. You're now in diagnostics mode. From here, simply hit any button other than the EM button to change to manual diagnostics, which is my preferred mode. First item up is PCM for powertrain control module, which is where you'll find engine and transmission codes. Then it's TCS for traction control system where the anti-lock brake and active handling codes will be found. Next we have body control module codes. Then SDM codes, which stands for sensing and diagnostic module, which is for the airbags. Then is instrument control panel codes, followed by the radio codes, which is common if you've got an aftermarket radio. Then HVAC module is the next item. Then left and right door control modules are next, and yeah, there's one per door. Then is the seat control module, and lastly is the remote function actuator for things like your fob and tire pressure sensor readings. So as you just saw, the C5's built-in diagnostics are pretty darn extensive and useful in that it can pull codes from all or just about all of the modules that are present in the system. And the bonus is that this system comes absolutely free with all of the C5 Corvettes, which is pretty amazing. Now let's take this little Ansel unit for a test drive and see how it compares. First, plug the Ansel into the C5's OBD2 port right under the dash, basically under the steering wheel, and then start the engine if you want to view live data or just leave it in the run position if you want to check for diagnostic trouble codes. Here we see the status screen where I have one diagnostic trouble code, seven of the IM monitors are okay, and one IM monitor is incomplete. Next, read codes is pretty intuitive. Just hit it to check which diagnostic trouble code has been set, and you can also check hard and pending codes. I pulled the fuse on my air system to set this code for demonstration purposes. Clicking erase codes does exactly what it says. Live engine parameter data is super useful. Freeze frame data records a snapshot of the individual parameters at the time a diagnostic trouble code is set. I am readiness looks at your monitors, which is super useful for those that live in states that do emission testing. And it tells you the status of all of your applicable monitors. Vehicle Info has some interesting information, including which OBD2 protocol your Corvette uses. By contrast, the C6 Corvettes use the CAN OBD2 protocol. The Live Data tab is where this $25 scan tool really shines. You can view a whopping 24 different PIDs and their values, which is something the C5's built-in diagnostic systems just simply can't do. Better yet, you can also graph most of the PIDs as well. For instance, let's take a look at the throttle position sensor range as I slowly put my foot to the floor and let it up so we can watch that it's consistent and there's no cutout spots. This is an excellent way to kind of check the operation of the full throttle system. And here's a few more useful parameters that we can graph. And finally, if you want to look up a little bit more information on a diagnostic trouble code, you can here. But honestly, I would suggest just Googling them instead. So which one's better, the Ansel handheld unit or the C5's built-in diagnostics? Well, in my opinion, it all comes down to a couple of key areas. The C5's onboard diagnostics can communicate with all or just about all of the modules and computers that are involved in the C5's electronics, while the Ansel can only communicate with the computer for the engine, or the PCM. That having been said, the Ansel scanner does communicate extremely well with the most important computer in the Corvette, 
the powertrain control module, and it does a heck of a lot more than simply pulling the diagnostic trouble codes. The Ansel can view a slew of engine parameters and even graph most of them, which is extremely useful when trying to diagnose the situation after you pull the trouble code. So in my opinion, you already own the diagnostics that are on the C5, so you really can't go wrong picking up this $20, $25 scan tool because it goes together and complements the C5's onboard diagnostics extremely well, kind of like um, peanut butter and jelly. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. If this video benefited you in any way, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing or leaving a comment, but most of all, thanks for watching.